Hi, and welcome to NetApp KB TV. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a Senior Virtualization Engineer here at NetApp. This video demonstrates how to troubleshoot a HTTP 403 error within Virtual Storage Console. This video is based on Knowledge Base Article 2017176. So let's illustrate what this error looks like. When I log on to the vSphere client and go to Virtual Storage Console, I see the following error. HTTP error 403, problem accessing main.html, reason forbidden. So what causes this error? This error is caused when Virtual Storage Console is registered to vCenter with an account that does not have the appropriate privileges that Virtual Storage Console needs. Virtual Storage Console needs certain privileges in order to communicate to vCenter. So how do we fix this? One solution is to pull up Virtual Storage Console's registration page. This page can be accessed by going to HTTPS, entering in the host name or IP address of the VSC server, the port, which is 8143, register.html, and registering VSC to, with vCenter using an account that I know has administrative rights. So for this, I'm going to use the administrator account. And here under plugin service information for the host name or IP address field, this needs to be the host name or IP address of the VSC server. Under the vCenter server information uh, uh, section, this host name or IP address, this needs to be for the vCenter server. So I'm going to go ahead and re-register VSC with vCenter using the administrator account. I'm going to close out of my vSphere client session. We're going to start up a new one. And when I go back into VSC, you'll notice that we now have access to Virtual Storage Console. So now we've kind of explained how to fix this issue, I want to delve a little bit more into the privileges needed by Virtual Storage Console in order to um, uh, communicate to vCenter. So to illustrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to Home and then Host and Clusters. And I'm going to go up here to the vCenter root level. Let's click on Permissions. So what I have set up here is I've got an administrator's account of which administrator is a member of this administrator's group. I've got a No Permission account that's currently marked as Read Only. So let's say I want to go ahead and switch um, uh, access, to, uh, 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 go ahead and switch the account that VSC uses to access vCenter. Let's say I want to go ahead and use this no permission account. So I'm going to switch this to administrator. I'm going to go ahead and close out of our vSphere client. I'm going to switch back over to our registration page. I've now registered VSC with vCenter using the No Permission account. Log back into vSphere. I'm going to go back to Virtual Storage Console. And 
as we expect, Virtual Storage Console works because that no permission account has a administrator role. But what happens if I go back up here to the vCenter root level, click on permissions, and I change this role? Now Virtual Storage Console comes with um, defined roles. So when you install Virtual Storage Console, you also assign these roles right here, like VSC Administrator, VSC Read Only, VSC provi uh, Provision. But let's say I want to choose a role that really doesn't have any Virtual Storage Console permissions, privileges, anything that Virtual Storage Console needs to access vSetter. So let's just change this to Read Only. So I've now changed my No Permission account to a Read Only role. I'm going to go ahead and close out of my vSphere client. Let's go ahead and log back in. And let's go back into Virtual Storage Console. And once again, we see we get the HTTP error 403, um, reason forbidden, because we have used an account that really doesn't have the permissions or privileges that VSC needs to communicate to vCenter. If you want to find out a little bit more about role-based access control, creating custom accounts, uh, assigning the you know, proper privileges and permissions um, uh, to the VSC account, uh, I'd encourage you to look at Knowledge Base Article 1013941. It goes through and it covers role-based access control for Virtual Storage Console. I want to thank you for watching and I hope this was informative for you.